Ruth. In the book of Ruth in the Bible. Yep. It's a popular story in the Bible. Yep. Uh, it's a story about love, commitment, mm -hmm. dedication, and especially how God works through his people. Yep. Who, um, who wrote the book of Ruth? The Bible does not tell us. Oh, okay. What does the Bible tell us, though? Well, it says that uh, Ruth's mother-in-law, whose name is Naomi, is from Judah. Mm -hmm. She and her husband and two sons moved to Moab because of a famine in Judah. Mm, okay. Yeah. And there, then, both of Naomi's sons, they married Moabite women. Yep. Right? Yep. And uh, then they, they are called uh, Ruth and Orpah, mm -hmm. and they are non-Hebrew women. Yes. So yes. that was unusual. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anyways, um, Naomi's husband died. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then 10 years later, both of her sons died. Oh. It's just terrible, yeah. terrible. Mm. Yeah. And then also, uh, on top of that, neither Ruth nor Arpa had children. Yeah. So it's that's unusual too. It's very, very unusual. unusual. Yeah, yeah. Challenging circumstances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, but the famine in Judah is now over, and Na Naomi decides to go back home. Yeah, and Orpa goes back to her family, mm -hmm. but Ruth um, decides. She pledges her life to Naomi and to God mm -hmm. and goes with her. Yes, yes. And mm. both women at this point are widows mm. and they're poor. Mm. So once in Judah, um, Ruth decides to go out into the fields to glean for uh, grain. What does glean mean? That's where you go and um, you go out into the fields mm -hmm. and you collect any leftover grain from the harvest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> yeah, she ends up gleaning in a field uh, yep. belonging to a man mm -hmm. whose name is Boaz. Yeah. And it turns out that he's a relative, uh, apparently next in line mm -hmm. uh, to take over Naomi's estate. Yes. And also to look after both widows. Yes. But Ruth does not know this. No, no, she doesn't. At that time. No. So um, when uh, Naomi finds out, mm -hmm. she tells Ruth who he is mm -hmm. and comes up with a daring and risky plan. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Naomi instructs <clears throat> Ruth on what to do next. That's right. As part of the plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Boaz is at the, the wheat threshing floor. Late at night, mm -hmm. and uh, Ruth goes out after dark and secretly mm. sneaks into the threshing floor, mm. but does not let Boaz know that mm. she's there. Yeah, because that's a big deal, right? Mm. That's a big deal because uh, she can't be seen by anyone yeah. or her reputation will be ruined. Yeah. And mm. along with Boaz's <laughs> reputation. Right? Yeah, that's right. right? If caught... So there could be um, there could be serious consequences for the family mm -hmm. because it could be yep, looked as like an illicit rendezvous yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so why did she go to the threshing floor? What was Naomi's plan? And what does Boaz have to say about it? What happens? Mm. Will she make it out in time before daylight? Real people, real events. Check it out.